Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I am filming my Friday favorites and flops, but I am filming it a day late because we traveled to Michigan, so I'm here at my parents' house. I don't know if you can, like, have this set up filmed. It's so pretty out. Let me just show you. It's snowing out, so it's really, really beautiful. Snow is on the ground. I don't get to see that very often, so it's really nice to be here. So I'm just gonna get right started with my Friday favorites and flops. This week I have really been trying to be basic because I couldn't bring very much makeup on my trip. So I packed some so I packed some basic things. Um, so I've really fallen back in love with this Tarte bronzer. This is in Park Avenue Princess. It's like a really nice sparkle to it. I don't know if you can really see because the lighting is a little bit crazy, but um, I really like the coloring that it gives. It really warms up your complexion. So I got this little mini size with a mini blush from Tarte and Dollface at, at Ulta in their like little travel to go sets. And it was two like this and the blush for $15, which is a great deal. So if you can still find that, I would definitely do that. That's a great way to try out a product that you want from a, lot, a higher line is try it out in the sample size, and then you can decide if you like it enough to spend the money on the larger size. So when I was traveling to Michigan, I knew I needed to bring my heavy-duty eye cream. Um, this is the eye cream I always go back to. It's from Mary Kay. It's the Time Wise Firming Eye Cream. Um, it has like a little pump top right here, and the, the formula pumps out just enough on your finger. It's so thick and really good. It's great for day, both day and night, but I always gravitate back to this because um, my skin gets really dry when I come to Michigan because of the cold weather, so I know I need like a really heavy duty eye cream. So this is the one I've been loving this week and the couple weeks prior. Okay, so a really great blush that I know I've talked about is this one from MAC. It's Plum Foolery. I've had this one for a while. Um, I know I've swatched it before. It's just a really great plum color. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks. It has a really pretty sheen to it. I don't know if the light's going to pick that up. But it's just a really pretty plum color. Um, I really like this blush. It's a it's in Max permanent collection. It's a sheer tone shimmer blush. It gives a really nice flush to the cheeks and it's a really pretty plum color. It kind of goes with the lip combo that I have on right now, which I really love. So I'm wearing Max Plumful, which is like, it could be described as like a baby rebel. It's the perfect toned down. Um, it's a luster, so it's a lot more sheer than Rebel, and it's just like a toned down glossy plum color. It's really pretty. If you're scared to wear Max Rebel, you should really try Plumful. And then over that, I have this lip gloss in, from MAC and Snob. It's like a pink, really opaque, milky with blue tones in it. And I feel like when I pair this gloss over anything, it can like give it like a milky, opaque, um, really glossy look. So I like that because this was a little bit too dark for what I wanted today. So I put this gloss on top of it and I feel like it really changed the lip look. So I've been loving this combo um, to wear a nice berry lip, but just more of an everyday berry lip. Two last things, for, or three last things for my favorites and then I will get to my flops and then possible flop. So... I found this nail polish from L'Oreal. It's the Mystic's Future. It's um, from their whole like Mystic line collection. It was on clearance for $2.48. So I picked it up. Um, it's just a. It's on my nails right now. It's just a really pretty purple color. And then I have like some blue glitter that I found. Um, I'm not sure the name of it, but I'll put it below. But it's just a really pretty purple color. I really like it. So if you have your chance, look for these at Target. I know they're being clearanced out at most places they were sold. So look for this color. You could probably get it on sale, but I really have been loving it. The last it. thing that I've really been loving are these NYC liners. Again, I don't think I can say enough about these. This one is in Smoky Plum. It's just a really pretty purple color right here. And they stay on the waterline. They're super creamy. They set and then they don't smudge at all. And these are only $3.99 anywhere NYC is sold. So they're called the NYC Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. 
So definitely check these out. They remind me of the NYX slide on glide ons, but cheaper. So this I would say is the best option for a good price eyeliner. I think this is the best. My last favorite is um, the Naked palette, the Naked 2 palette. I've been loving the shade YDK. I have it on my lids today. It's just a really pretty like rose goldish color. Um, let's see if I can swatch it. It's just a pretty rose gold color and I feel like um, when you put that with T's in the crease it's just a really pretty eye and then you can darken it up with Hustle. So I've really been loving the Naked 2 palette for when I'm traveling. I took the Naked, palette, the naked 1 palette and then the Too Faced Romantic Eye palette. So I was really simple with what I took on my trip but I knew I could get basic looks. Um, I think I was watching Beauty Moxie and she said that she was going back to the basics this month and that's kind of how I feel like I did and sometimes it's good to go back to the basics like to what you really really love so that's what I feel like I've been doing with the Naked palettes. My two flops. Okay this is the L'Oreal Liner Intense in Carbon Black Liquid Liner and I love this stuff and I feel like it gives a great line. It has a great felt tip. It's a long felt tip so I, I really like it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not as black. I bought, and this is my second tube, and it's not as black as the first one. It seems like to be more watery than the first and not go on as opaque. So I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed because I spent a lot of money on this, and I don't feel like it, not a lot of money, but, you know, I bought another one. And I don't feel like it gives as opaque of a line as the first one. So I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know if I would call it a flop, but I hate that one product can be super opaque and then the same product from the same line, the same exact thing, could be a little bit watery. So that's a little bit of a flop. I guess just be aware. Maybe I should return it and see if I can pick up another one. It might be better. The next thing that I'm not saying it's a flop yet, but I just want to throw this out there. So I saw a lot of reviews on the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I never, ever, ever would have picked it up because I haven't worn a CoverGirl foundation since never. People were always using CoverGirl powder in high school, like the compacts, and I, I just didn't get it. I don't understand why you want that powder seem like very cakey to me, like sitting on your face. So anyways, I don't have a good impression of CoverGirl products in general, um, but I decided to try this because I heard it was like the... Um, Makeup Forever um, Velvet Stay Matte or Velvet Matte Velux Plus or whatever. I put this on my face and the first layer was like medium coverage. I'm wearing it today. And I'm not going to say I don't like it. I, I want to say that I feel if your face, and it might be because I'm traveling and I'm not like, I'm in a different climate and my face is reacting differently, but I feel like this hold on to all the dry patches and like you look at my face and you can tell I'm wearing makeup. It's super matte. Super matte. So if you have oily skin, this is probably going to be amazing for you. But if you have dry skin or normal skin or combination skin, I don't think that this will work for you. It's the mattest foundation I've ever tried. You like put it on, you can almost rub your fingers over it and it's like already matte. So I don't necessarily think that it's going to be something that I love because I have a few drier patches around my face since I've been traveling and this like clung to every single dry patch so and I moisturized right before I put it on so I don't know about this foundation um, if it's going to be for me but I just wanted to put it out there that if you have oily skin this might be awesome for you. So that is my Friday favorites and flops. I'm so sorry that this is up a day late but I figured you guys wouldn't care and since I'm filming at my parents house I might do another few videos here that you might be able to see. So anyways um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. I showed this concealer. The first one is from Revlon. It's the new Revlon Color Stay Concealer. Um, this is in light. I love this. This is great for spot concealing, and I got it in super light. I am pale, but I figured the lighter the shade, um, the more bright.